after installing Nevi as your new WordPress theme, click on Nevi options under Appearance and look for the Sites Library tab. As you can see on this page, you have some pretty interesting and specially designed pre-built websites for web agency, restaurant, fitness and creative portfolio which is the one I will show you how to use in this video. Hey WordPress enthusiasts and welcome to our channel. My name is Robert and in this video I will walk you through a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use the Nevi WordPress theme and the Beaver Builder Page Builder plugin to create and customize a portfolio website. To do that, select Beaver Builder as your editor and scroll down until you find the Creative Portfolio demo. Click Preview and here we are. This is the home page that you will get exactly as it is after importing the demo with all these sections, rows and modules you can entirely edit with Beaver Builder. You also get a ready-made page for About Us with modules where you can enter more details about you, social icons and testimonials. Some pictures containing your best creations and the way people can contact you. Again, all these modules and rows are fully editable with Beaver Builder. There is a nice looking portfolio page. And this is the page you can use as a template for each product or service. The blog is the page where you can display your latest articles. And finally, this is the contact page with everything you need. Now you can go ahead and click Import. This process will take care of everything for you, like installing the Beaver Builder Lite version plugin and also the add-ons by WP Zoom which will extend your page builder with several useful things that are missing from the free version. Once everything is imported, you can check out the look of your site as it is right now and then you can start adding your own content. So, let me start with the home page, which you can edit by clicking on this Beaver Builder button on your top bar. If you don't see this black bar above, which belongs to your dashboard, you have to log in first by accessing your site's address, followed by login. When you click on Beaver Builder, it will reload the page and open its editor window on top of your content, so you can visually edit everything. To close the editor, click Done or Done and Publish, if you already made some changes. If you click on this plus icon, it will open a pop-up window where you can access resources like modules, which are elements you can simply drag over to create buttons, contact forms, and images or videos, and so on. The Rows tab is where you can choose the structure and number of columns for new sections and inner sections. And the template zone is where you can save and reuse your layouts. This window can stick to the left or right side of your screen, or you can make it pop out only when needed. Now, if you hover over the modules on this page, you can see the editing handles for modules surrounded by a blue border and the editing handle for your row as grey. This is where you can change things like width, colors and the background, which is an image in this case. To replace the image, go to Background Photo Settings and click Edit. Pick a new image, select Photo and then Save if you don't want to change anything else. You can adjust the size of this window if needed, move it around 
or even maximize it to have a clear vision over the available settings. The Advanced tab is where you can add more spacing with margins and padding, change the visibility, add animation and modify the HTML element. To close this window, click Save or Cancel. But remember that if you click Cancel, your changes will be lost. Let me show you how module settings work and for that I will open the heading settings. It looks and works pretty much the same, only the content is different. The first tab is where you can modify the text, link and its structure. The separator below the heading could be line, line with icons, line with image or line with text. Add it to the top, bottom or between the heading and description. I will get back to the default selection of the separator, which is none, and move to the Typography tab where you have everything you need to make your text look stunning. To open the advanced settings of a module, you have to click on these three dots and then Advanced. This is, more or less, the way you can edit every piece of your content on pages created with Beaver Builder. The header and footer, though, must be edited through the customizer of the theme, which you can easily access over here. But before doing that, I would like to explain this menu. So, these are the tools of Beaver Builder, which you can use to publish your layout. Alternatively, you can push Ctrl plus P on your keyboard. To duplicate this layout, click here. For preview, click this link, and so on. If you would like to adjust your content for mobile devices, click Responsive Editing and switch between Mobile and Tablet View over here. It is the same selector you see for settings that have a separate adjustment for mobile and tablets. Revisions and History are useful features when you observe something wrong and want to get back to a specific step and start over. The global settings will open this window, where you can change the default settings for page heading, columns, modules, as well as the responsive layout. If you know how to code, you can use the CSS tab and the JavaScript tab to fine-tune your website. Don't like the brightness of the user interface? Switch to dark mode over here. Now, let me go to the customizer and show you how to change the header, footer and other settings of your WordPress theme. To do that, click on WordPress Admin and go to Customize Theme. It will open your theme customizer in a new tab where you can access the layout settings Add more things to your header and footer with this easy to use drag and drop interface. And then feel free to set different colors and change the typography settings. That's it. Your creative portfolio website is ready and you can start customizing it further by following the step-by-step -step beginner friendly guide you just saw. If you have questions, please leave a comment below and I will answer each of you guys. Keep up the good work and see you in the next video. Cheers!